Hey guys, JTI here. I'm here to introduce a brand new show I'll be doing for Schmoes Plus called Meet the Schmoes. Now I came up with this idea to interview my fellow co-workers and friends from the podcast so you the fans could get to know us a little bit better. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the first episode of Meet the Schmoes. Welcome, neighbor. This is uh, this is my house. This is my dog. Say hello, Cal. Yeah, Cal, get back here. Over here. No, just calm down. This doesn't have to be a big deal. You walk into my place. It is geek central. It is a man cave. This is by design. I love it. I framed my favorite movies. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Over there, you can see Empire Strikes Back. Star Wars. Over here, you can see... This is an artist I found at one of the cons, I can't remember which, but um, the guy basically does scenes from movies in the form of a children's book, so which I love. So I have Alien and Big Lebowski, two of my favorites. I just love the, the, you know, the, the, the writing here. You said it, man. Nobody fucks with the Jesus, said the Jesus. That's very kids' books to me. I thought it was a nice, interesting art that nobody has, so... I found this one at an art gallery in San Francisco, and uh, it's, of course, Superman. It's, this guy does pictures of um, famous people, and of course, it's Superman. So, I'm going to do that. This might be cool. I'm going to take you in my bathroom. Get a shot of that. For those of you who know me, Star Wars Trilogy in 30 Minutes, a fan did this while we were doing the, the run in L.A., our fans showed up and uh, had everybody in their character and put up a little cartoon. It was pretty cool, so I framed it. Um, this is by far my favorite. This is an E.T. poster. Mondo does special prints of uh, posters that release them. And, uh, of course, they had E.T., and it's my favorite movie. This is a poster that I have not seen um, out there in all the movie posters, so I love the design of this and had to get it and framed it and here it is. This this is special to me. This is my um, this is actually the comic book I created. Um, it's the first issue blown up into a poster and I know it's a little dark. I wish you could see more of it but this is the uh, the comic book that I've been pitching for years. We have two issues. We've pitched all over and we're now working on a screenplay for it and we do have some interest so hopefully do this everybody. I want that to turn into an actual movie poster, so rock and roll, Schmoville, let's do it. I have known Christian since 2000, 2001. Um, we met waiting tables at uh, uh, California Pizza Kitchen. That's how we met. Um, funny enough, and we were the two movie guys that would walk around, um, you know, while we were waiting tables and spitting in people's drinks. Um, we never did that. I swear to God. Christian did. Um, but we, we found out pretty quick, you know, when you're waiting tables, you get to know people very well, that Christian was a very big movie lover, Star Wars fan. So, of course, we instantly connected, uh that way and uh, became friends and uh, the rest has been history. I want to be able to have a team of people that are out there uh, at all the big events, premieres, junkets, panels, Comic-Con, any kind of con. Um, I'd love to have an army of these guys that are out there getting the news getting the scoops, um, and taking it to schmoesno.com. Um, right now, you know, we're at the, the start of this. You know, we have some really great writers. Um, we're doing the best we can to get the news out there as fast as possible. Um, but I look at some of the bigger sites out there, and I go, that's what Schmozno can become. Not only having everything, podcast, the YouTube video reviews, but having very talented writers that will not only post news, 
but I'd love special articles. I'd love opinion pieces. I'd love to have content being posted 24 hours a day so that our audience can come in and not only get the latest Johnny Depp wearing eyeliner part, um, but I also want them to be able to sit down and read a nice article about, like, say, Matt Key doing his Doctor Strange article, or a Riley Roundtable that I would post talking about Star Wars, or, you know, different articles like that, because I feel like you can get news wherever. Um, what schmoes know that we want to do is the news is coming from guys that are passionate, that have a voice, that have an opinion on the news in general. I want all these things. I want schmoes know guys doing set visits, interviewing the directors, interviewing the actors, getting behind the scenes looks on these sets. That's the goal. That's going to happen. It just takes a little time. Uh, favorite moment on the podcast. I have a lot. Um, uh, but I will say, uh, a, a two jumped to mind for me. One was when I did my Gremlins prequel pitch. I thought that was a lot of fun. I really liked the, introduce, uh, the introduction of the bit, you know, go picture. I think we need to do more of that. I think it's fun for the fans, and I think it's fun to see one of, you know, the crew pitch a movie. Whether it's a serious pitch, like I actually worked on a Gremlins script, so the, the pitch was kind of an extension of that, which was fun. Um, but then on the flip side of that, I loved it when Makuga goes in and pitches his fucking train wreck of a movie. I thought that was great. And I think the fans enjoy it. And so for me, that was a really fun time uh, for me being like really a part of it. Um, but over the time as, as the podcast has gone on, I really love the celebrity impressions. And um, I have a lot of fun. I like to think I'm pretty good. And, uh, and so my ego was nice and stroked the night I did sean connery and that was a lot of fun because i just loved people's reactions to my sean connery um and then i loved the uh the kind of the controversy at the end when makuga won that still every once in a while pops up on twitter like you were robbed riley i, I loved that that was a, that was a lot of fun but in general i mean and, and this is gonna sound terrible or crazy but every podcast is fun every podcast becomes my favorite because it just it always reminds me at the end of the week or Thursday that uh, we're doing something pretty special. So, yeah. I do. Beverly Hills Cop. Um, uh, first movie I saw, R-rated, was Beverly Hills Cop. My mom took me. Um, she had seen it. She had loved it. Um, trivia, it's the first R-rated movie to break a hundred thousand or a hundred uh, sorry hundred million at the box office um, but my mom saw it and loved it loved it. it was like at the height of the Eddie Murphy craze and I remember specifically her telling me okay there are two moments that you're gonna have to close your eyes one of them is a very violent scene and the next is boobs so you're gonna have to close your eyes on both of those now that got me all like Ooh, okay and so we went and saw the movie, and of course, <clears throat> the scene in question, the violent scene, I remember my mom telling me there's going to be, a man is going to be killed, and there's going to be, it's a graphic scene, and you're going to see just a, like a pop, like a flash. So I want you to close your eyes for that. I didn't close my eyes, so when Mikey, you know, Axel Foley's best friend who comes in from Beverly Hills holding the, the bearer bonds that are, that are illegal, and they do that major hit on him, and you see that long shot of the hallway where he just execution style, boom, shoots his friend. My mom was telling me to look away. Of course, I did this and saw it and uh, just loved it. So and of course, I did the same thing for the boobs. I needed the boobs. So. Luke Skywalker. I would be Luke Skywalker. I grew up being Luke Skywalker. Having the Force and a lightsaber, I'd be Luke Skywalker. I mean, I did when I was little. When I found out that my parents almost named me Luke, this was around the time Star Wars was out and I was a huge nerd and like following it, I then went around and told everybody in the neighborhood, you call me Luke from now on. And for a month, everybody called me Luke. So that's an easy one, Luke Skywalker.
question. I I'm just going to get two names popped into my mind. Jack Lemmon and Heath Ledger. Uh, I, I remember when Jack Lemmon passed away, I was in Paris at the time, and I just remember crying because it's Jack Lemmon. So, for some reason, he popped in my head. I don't think there's a big audience wanting Jack Lemmon back, <laughs> so casting him something. So I'll go with Heath Ledger. I think that um, I would cast Heath Ledger as the Joker again, and I would make a spin-off movie about him, about the Joker and what he did when he got to Arkham. Why the hell not? That sounds cool. Alright guys, so I decided to end each of these episodes with a game I call Schmo's Choice. This is inspired by the film Sophie's Choice, where someone is forced to make a hard decision. I'll name two films, and the guest will have to choose which one of these films is saved forever, while the other is erased from history. Alright, and the first pair for Schmo's Choice is Alien or Predator? Alien. Okay. Easy. Next choice, Raging Bull or Rocky? Raging Bull. Next choice, Jaws or Close Encounters of the Third Kind? Jaws. Terminator or Terminator 2, Judgment Day? I'm gonna go with the original, Terminator. Back to the Future or Ghostbusters? Oh, kill me. Take that from my heart. Oh, well, I'm just going to stick with it's one of my top favorites, Ghostbusters. Sad to say. L.A. Confidential or The Untouchables? L.A. Confidential. Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street? I'm talking originals here, right? Nightmare on Elm Street. Lethal Weapon or Die Hard? Ooh, Die Hard. Die Hard. First Blood or Commando? I love you. I just got a text message. Uh, First Blood or... Commando. Commando. First Blood. Platoon or Saving Private Ryan? Saving Private Ryan. Raiders of the Lost Ark mm -hmm. or E.T.? Oh, man, that, that, that one hurts. But E.T., it's my favorite. Beetlejuice or Edward Scissorhands? Beetlejuice. Scarface or Goodfellas? Goodfellas. Great. The Breakfast Club or Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Oh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The Sixth Sense or Unbreakable? Unbreakable. Love that movie. The Exorcist or The Shining? Exorcist. Ghost or Roadhouse? Roadhouse! Hell yes. The Godfather or Shawshank Redemption? That's, that's a killing a baby right there. Godfather. Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope or Superman the Movie? Evil, evil, evil person. Star Wars. All right, and that was Schmo's choice. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. So I have a pretty cool trick with my dog, Cal. Watch. Cal. Squirrel. 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 Where is it? Squirrel. Go get the squirrel. either be determined as bad or preparation for the zombie apocalypse because if zombies do attack I'm just going to say squirrel and the rest will be taken care of